Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're back on the Evoq. The door lock has stopped working. The front right side, driver's side in the UK, door lock is no longer opening the door. So let's change it out and hopefully get this thing working again. You may find after a few times if you lock and unlock, lock, unlock, two or three times it might actually eventually open the door, but generally it will not open. So let's head out, let's get into the car, open the driver's side door, remove the door card, remove the motor, put this one back in its place, Install it, door card back on, and call it good. So this is the door lock, it is removed from the vehicle. This is the second weekend, basically last weekend I took all this off, brought it in here, compared it with my replacement and the first thing I noticed was L. Somehow, don't know how, I've managed to pick up the passenger side door lock. I put this back on, driven the car for a week, ordered the correct part, the parts came in. So placing these side by side, they appear to look correct. Nothing's obviously wrong with these we have the r and the r the mold is s024 s024 this isn't a genuine part i've replaced it with an aftermarket part apparently the exact same part once again probably why it failed i probably well if this fails again i probably will have to go with a genuine part because this has lasted a little over a year so <laughs> we'll give this one a year or two if it fails within the, the next two years then I think we will go back to genuine. We need to transfer this cable here on this clip over to this unit and this is ready to be installed. To remove this there's two clips, there's one here and one this side. Just get yourself a pick tool, put it in and pull it back, lift it up. Basically this tab needs to line up here so all I do is put it in at an angle push it around, get this plastic part, slide that up, push it in, make sure they're both locked in and on this side you have the white tabs coming through and that is basically it. What basically broke on the last one was this bit here, this bit of metal, quite simply that metal had bent. Now look at this one, I wonder if it's the same issue. Now there's a very fine gap, maybe one or two mil on this one between that black metal bracket and the arm, I would say is about six mil. So it is possible, I guess, you could maybe bend that back and it may work. The reason why this one's covered in lubricant is basically I took the bits last weekend, absolutely drenched the insides down and put it back together and it still doesn't work. What was quite interesting is that the cogs all inside were perfectly fine. I think it's this arm, all the metal bracket itself is out of alignment. It could be the motor, but oh, it could be something inside. It looks correct, but maybe it's not. But for eighteen, nineteen pounds, put a new one in. So on this catch, you removed a wire. That's the first thing you want to put back in place. It's quite tricky. Pull the wire through, put the wire at a ninety degree angle, and then rotate the wire so it's it's going up into here. Slide it into this clip, very much like this white clip here, and that is it. So to get this in and out, 
we remove the bolt from the bottom of the window brace. Now, make sure that this goes in front of that brace. Get your pl electrical plug and plug that into the socket here. So get the inner door card, whatever you want to call it. Place that back into the car door itself, making sure this is sticking out. There's a ridge here, so it kind of just has to sit the bolt there. Put your bolts in, hook this back into the door, reconnect all your electrical cables, and you pretty much are good to go. So let's get this back into the Evoke and hopefully call this job done and fixed. You don't need many tools to complete this job. Basically a pick to remove the covers. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver for two screws. And this guy here is universal, which allows you to attach a T25, T27, and a T30. That is basically all you will need to finish this job. I've got these as well, which will work, but these are from a standard tool kit. And you can use them on a screwdriver. They just basically get onto the top. So initially I used impact to remove the screws and bolts from the door. That is fine to remove, I guess, but don't use them to put them back on. They're kind of like a nylon plug built into the actual door. And if you use an impact, it'll just destroy them. And then they won't be able to grip and they'll just keep falling out. So the best way to do it really is by hand. It takes a bit longer, but you kind of, you get a feel once you've nipped it up, you can give it a quarter turn. It kind of just snugs up nice and tight and you're good to go. I did shoot this quite quickly and there was a reason for that. This isn't a tricky task, guys. It really isn't. It's pretty straightforward if you can change a battery on a car if you top up your own coolant something like this you'll have the tools these are very very basic tools you don't even need a pick you can just use a nail you may not even need a magnet i use this basically one of the screws in the side of the door it's quite long and when you unscrew it it sometimes drops inside and the magnet helps to get it out but really if you're careful you don't really need one of these a magnetic screwdriver and three torque bits and you're good to go so the previous owner of this car, I've got invoices for two or three locks that's been replaced by a Land Rover. And I'm pretty sure it's a hundred or so pounds. Once, 160 pounds I think it was, per lock. It's a lot of money. This, well not this one, but the replacement one, was less than 20 pounds. You have the very few tools kicking about generally. So basically, less than 20 pounds and you're good to go. This is for the left hand side. Hopefully I won't need it, but I paid... 16 17 pounds whatever i paid for it pennies not much it's not worth selling back on it's not worth returning i'll just keep all of it if i need one i've got one so i think we'll call this one here guys so thank you for watching hopefully it's helped you guys out like always please like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you in the next one